Bentham. Welcome to Community at Home for Wednesday, July the 8th. It's been a few weeks, maybe a month or so, since I've, I've shared some things from my uh, little Black Moleskin book that I've written things in. So I'd like to do that and kind of continue that as we're in our uh, this time of wearing masks and limited gatherings and, and all of those different things. Uh, and I'm just working my way, whatever's next that I have written in that little moleskin. And, and this this what it is, uh, is, is who is God to you? Who is God to you? Uh, I think that's a pretty, pretty good thing to do is to sit down with your journal, maybe a piece of paper and just write at the top of the page, who is God to me? And then just start writing the things down. Like who, who is he? What, what do you think of when you think of God or, or who is God to you? And Matthew chapter 16, uh, Jesus is with his apostles in their in Caesarea Philippi. And starting of his verse 13, he says, When Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? Well, they replied, Some say John the Baptist, some say Elijah, others say Jeremiah, or one of the other prophets. And then he asked them, But who do you say I am? But who do you say I am? Simon Peter answered, he said, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God. And Jesus goes on to tell him that he's blessed because he had, that is the right answer. He is the son of God. He is the Messiah. But, you know, he got that from God. The spirit gave him that answer. It's, 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 a, it's an important question to ask, who is God to me? And here's, here's actually the two questions that I, have, that I wrote down in my little uh, moleskin book. Is this, how... Can God help me get what I want versus who is God and how can I know him? You see the difference between those two questions? Here, here are the two questions. How can God help me get what I want? How can God help me get what I want? For most of us, we call that prayer. We talk to God and we tell him the things that we want or we tell him the things that we want him to do for us or we lay it out the way that we think it should go. So how, how can I, how can God help me get what I want versus who is God and how can I know him? Who is God and how can I know him? That, that, is, that is the question we need to be asking. Who, who do I say Jesus is? Who do I say God is? And if I can begin to weave that question in to my daily life. I can begin to weave that question into how do I approach home? How do I approach work? How do I approach church? How do I approach whatever it is that I'm doing? How do I approach that with my friendships? My real Who is God and how can I know him versus what can God give me or what can God do for me or how can God help me get what I want? There's three biblical metaphors that are pretty big in the scriptures and the in the hebrew scriptures and in the new covenant and it's this god is shepherd and we me i you as sheep that's a metaphor shepherd and the sheep i'm not the shepherd god is the shepherd i'm actually the sheep another huge metaphor that's not going to be a surprise to you at all is father child that god is father and we are his children. We are God's children. When we've declared and received the gospel, we become adopted into his kingdom. We become uh, co-heirs with Jesus. So we become his child. I'm not his child because I was born for God so loved the world. He loves everyone that's born, but only those who've declared and received the gospel are his children. So we have the, the metaphor of shepherd and sheep, and we have the metaphor of father and child. And then another major one, especially in the new covenant is this, is bridegroom and and, uh, bride. God is the bridegroom. Jesus is the bridegroom. We are the bride. And that's especially true of the church. In fact, the church uh, is referred to as the bride of Christ. So who is God? Well, he's shepherd, he's father, and he's bridegroom. And when I, when I begin to see that and I'm reminded of that and realize that, hey, I'm the sheep, I'm the child, I'm the bride, then, then that's going to help me in my relationship with him. I'm the sheep. He's going to lead me. 
He's going to protect me. I'm his child. He's going to love me more than anything possible. And I'm his bride. So he's going to cherish me more than anything that I can imagine. So it's a really important question. And I love the way that Jesus did that. He asked the disciples, who do people say that I am? And we can do that when we look around the world and say, well, what does the world say? Who does the world say Jesus is? Who does the world say God is? But the really important question is, who do you say that he is? Who do I say that he is? So I hope you spend some time with those two questions. Is it, what can God do for me? Or who is God and how can I know him? Talk to you soon.